I want to hear a little bit about the time that you did spend with Jeremiah Smith and in Mecca Abuka because Jeremiah Smith is so, so good as a true freshman. He's going to break all sorts of records for the Buckeyes. And he and Ryan Williams at Alabama are by far like the two star freshman receivers, which is insane. But like you look at Jeremiah Smith's numbers, he's already almost 500 reception uh, receiving yards. He's averaging almost 20 yards a catch, seven total touchdowns on the season. Like he is going to break all of those records. And I think he could very well be the best of all of these insanely talented receivers that have run through Ohio State in recent years. So what, when you spent time with him in Emeka, like what, what were you, what did you get from them? What did, what was the the energy, the confidence, what makes them work and what makes him work so well as a true freshman in this, on the stage? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about Jeremiah first and then I'll kind of talk about the both of them together. But um, Jeremiah walks in, we're, we're getting set up for the interview. And I look at the SID for Ohio State and I said, this is this is Jeremiah. I'm like, this is the freshman. He's humongous. He looks like <laughs> what a freshman linebacker. No, seriously, like when I was his age, that's what I looked like. He looks like what I came into wow. Ohio State looking like. He is a physical specimen, not an ounce of fat on his body, super lean, big. He's got these mitts. Go to shake his hand. I got big hands. His hand swallowed mine up. Like just a, a physical specimen, a freak of nature from that standpoint. So that's number one with him. But then you start to talk to him, very serious, very measured demeanor. I would ask a question. He would think about it before he would answer. He's a guy who is so serious for being so young. And I think that's why he's been able to play well. They told me about the offseason. He comes in and he's in the weight room, like not trying to lose any competitions. And when he did, he was pissed off. Like he was genuinely mad. He wanted to come in. He wanted to be really good right away. But he had the approach to match the desire. And I think that's really important. Now, where Emeka comes into this, he's kind of flown under the radar. Last year was banged up. He's really good, but hasn't really been talked about. Now, of course, we're talking about him because he's performing back to the level we thought he could. Part of the reason he came back was to mentor a guy like Jeremiah. And he took it upon himself to make sure that in the weight room, he was a guy who was, you know, taking Jeremiah through and trying to get the the wins in the competition early on to really mold him. And he's embraced that leadership role. And they've developed a great relationship. This wide receiver room is as close as it's ever been, is what they've told me. But the idea for a Mecca to take a young player under his wing and kind of teach him the way to be the next great one in that Ohio State uh, wide receiver room I think that combination is really important. I, I, Jeremiah would have been really good regardless, but I do think his pairing with a Mecca has accelerated his development. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely true. And I think you you can definitely see it in the way the maturity and the way that they interact during games and, and before games and after games. 